Hello guys, today I am going to show you how to implement the map reduce. Uh, we are going to take a simple example of uh, word count. Uh, word count example is uh, very much simple, it's just like a hello world program uh, in C means the uh, in Hadoop word count is the simplest program. So before starting I want to show you the website from where I refer this code. <coughs> uh, this is the Apache's uh, own website, uh, link will uh, is given on uh, in the description uh, below. So before, uh, so first, uh, this is the source code. You can read the description about it over here. Uh, so I just what I did, I just copy that, uh, copy this source code and paste in my home directory in uh, yeah in word. Sorry. Yeah in wordcount.java file in this uh, for that for this you can also use eclipse but uh, i use gedit uh, so <coughs> this is uh, first i will explain you uh, something about the code so this is the cl basic class word count in that we have the three methods first uh, we have the three classes first is the, sorry not three two classes first is the tokenizer mapper this is a, ma a mapper class this is the reducer class and this is our static main function so the whatever we have uh, whatever we have written in the <coughs> uh, means map reduce pro uh, map reduce program consists of the three parts driver mapper and reducer the driver is in the main in this we are define all the things means for example which uh, for, for this which will be the mapper class we have used the job dot set mapper class and we have given the class name of the mapping class that mapper class that is our uh, tokenizer mapper so uh, this code I directly copied from the website of Apache so uh, the, it is uh, it is very simple code and you can understand it uh, uh, very means it's uh, very easy to understand so first uh, so uh, but uh, understanding code is easy but many problem ha uh, many people has a problem that how to implement it so f i will show the steps about uh, of implementing it so first what i have done i have taken one uh, on my home screen itself sorry on my desktop i have taken one uh, file that is file1.txt uh, I have written a simple line. You can take a, any uh, uh, you can take a, any sentence or uh, any paragraph from internet, or you can write your own thing. It doesn't matter much. We, in what is our aim? We have to ca ca count the number of word. We have to count the wo uh, words in this file. So <coughs> the steps are very simple. The uh, they uh, they also mentioned the steps uh, uh, over here. So uh, assuming that the Hadoop is installed already. So we have to start the Hadoop services. So we'll go in terminal. You can check whether the Hadoop uh, path is uh, Hadoop home is set or not by uh, typing echo dollar Hadoop underscore home. So this uh, this is the Hadoop uh, path where the Hadoop has uh, Hadoop has been installed. Uh, so for starting this uh, for starting the Hadoop the basic command is <coughs> slash bin slash start all st yeah this is the command for uh, starting the Hadoop server so I will just hit enter. It will ask me the root password. So uh, now as I have already started the Hadoop, it is giving me the uh, error that the name node is running as process. Stop it first. Uh, so every time whatever means which uh, uh, every time the, the all the services of Hadoop which get initialized. Uh, at start are already running so it is showing me the error a data node running at uh, as process 3632 or something so i can check whether they are running or not by using a command sudo jps so i can see at uh, the port number and uh, which service is running so the data node task tracker jps job tracker and secondary name node and name uh, name node these are the services which are running under hadoop uh, actually JPS uh, command shows the services which are uh, uh, running uh, in the background 
so after that uh, so i got to know that uh, the hadoop is started uh, successfully so after that i need to <coughs> Yeah, and I have to implement the word count uh, program. So for that, there is a sim. Uh, there are some simple steps. Uh, first step is to. Uh, uh, first step is to. We have to generate a jar file of our word count dot java fi uh, file. That is the file which was uh, which we have saved in uh, on the uh, on a home uh, home directory. That is which contains the code of ma mapper reducer and the class uh, driver. So uh, we have to uh, first what we need we, we need to do is to create a jar file so of this uh, code for that there is one simple command that is dollar hadoop underscore home mm, we need to put sudo before uh, every command of hadoop so I will put sudo hadoop home slash bin slash hadoop and then I need to give space com dot sun dot tools dot javac dot main space the program name that is word count dot java this is the name of the program which we have given uh, that is word count dot java so I will hit enter and yes the uh, file has been uh, the jar file has been created we have to um, for using it we have one command that is jar cf wc dot jar word count star dot class so again hit enter it will show that the pick up java tools option and it will show that the jar file has been uh, uh, means it has been picked up now we have to <coughs> make directory for input and output so the sample.txt is now present uh, in my local directory that is on desktop I need to sorry file.txt is present on my desktop I need to transfer this to the HDFS HDFS is the Hadoop distributed file system for using for implementing the uh, any program or for taking the input it should be present in the HDFS so the now the basic thing is I need to define the <coughs> directories that is input and output directory where my input files will be there and where my output files should be uh, should go so uh, you can go in browser and if your Hadoop has started right uh, correctly uh, you can go to localhost 50070 uh, here you can see the uh, information about the Hadoop means it's sta uh, sta when it was started version compile upgrades in that there is one option that is browse the file system and in that there are these are the directories in the HDFS so what I need to do is I need to create a directory uh, for the in uh, for keeping my input file that is the text text file and the output uh, for uh, directory in which the output means how many words will be present will get copied so first uh, I will make the input directory the command is uh, uh, very simple uh, it is an again a Hadoop uh, underscore home oh sorry my spelling is wrong Hadoop underscore home just don't forget to put sudo before your any command hadoop underscore home slash bin slash hadoop give the space fs dash make directory that is dash mkdir and uh, just give the path means uh, just give the name of the directory which you want to make so I will prefer to making direct in user folder just uh, uh, just will name it as say ak slash word count slash 
input so now if I go on uh, in my browser and I will just uh, refresh it so I will find that in user I have got one directory named ak and it will have a subdirectory that is word count and there is one more in the subdirectory that is input and input is now the mm, uh, empty directory so now again we have to do the same for the uh, so we need to copy the uh, file means now uh, file from which we have to count the number of words to this input directory so for, uh, for first before doing that we need to give the permission of read and write to this uh, directory so the, we can do this by using command fs s c h mod g plus the g plus w and the file the, and the di uh, directory to which you need to uh, give the read and write permission basically this uh, this command we are executing so that we can uh, uh, read and write in this di uh, directory uh, so this is just for giving the permission so word count slash input so now we have got the read and write permission for that folder now we have to copy that file that we are, uh, have on the desktop that is file1.txt to our input directory so for that there is uh, again our hadoop command fs dash put so uh, after put we have to give the file name for, uh, of which uh, of the uh, of the, that the file1.txt where the file1.txt is present so i will just uh, drop so i will just uh, see its path that is home akshay desktop so and uh, this is the path from where it will get co copied that is it is a source and destination is uh, this one so what we have specified that put the uh, uh, file1.txt from this directory to my input directory in hdfs so i will just uh, 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 hit enter yeah it has not given me any error so the file has been copied successfully i can check this again by going into browser and just refresh it or you can so you will see that file1.txt has came you can click on it and you will find what is the content of the file just go back now uh, after doing this uh, we need to uh, run the program means everything is now done what the steps we have taken first we have uh, made uh, made a jar file second thing was we uh, made an input directory third thing wa was we gave the permission to uh, read and write uh, for the input directory fourth thing was we copied the sam uh, text file from the desktop to my hdfs directory and next step is to run, uh, running the uh, job that is we have to uh, find the word count of that file so uh, the command is again simple so it is jar wc dot jar word count this is a jar file name after that we need to specify the input uh, sorry uh, input folder path and the output folder path so for that you can find the input folder path that is this only user ak word count input and now we need to give provide the output folder path that we are not created if it uh, if it is not created no problem uh, just one second sorry input and output was repeated it is if you are not created the output uh, directory means for example uh, here we have already uh, in ak word count we have only input directory either you can create the output directory before of, or if you are not created it will get automatically created i will prefer to create it automatically so i will just hit enter so the job has been started after completion of job i will show what files we get in the output directory 
so uh, everything has been over job has been successfully implemented i can check whether it is the uh, implemented successfully or not by going again into my uh, word count directory see now you can see the output directory has been created automatically you can go into it and if there are three files are created first is the success if the job has been implemented successfully this file uh, text file will be created with the name just success if you open it it is it will be an empty file so and the log file will contains the log means uh, about how it was implemented all the log will be uh, log detail you will find uh, find in this file so and uh, uh, and the uh, word count means how many count of word means the actual output will be in this directory you can click on it and you will find the number word count over here means how many time it has been used and everything so this